So I'm going to show you today how, just like Java said, um, how to place an edit button to pu publish posts. Well, first I'll show you how to play, place the edit button to edit published posts, and then I'll go in and show you how to how to place the edit button to publish posts. So here's a post I have, and here's the edit button. Okay. So this edit button, this instead of, this is, instead of uh, going in and editing the post in the back end. You don't even have to have the back end for your clients. You can just say, okay, they're not going to have the access to the back end. And, uh, and they're just going to edit from here. This is all the, the data that they can edit and they don't have to edit all the styles and everything. All right. So for example, here's my post essential tools for building a successful website. I can edit. I am my client in this case. So I can edit the title and the content. And I can edit the categories. Go down and you can see the categories. Okay. So uh, uh, let's say, for example, the, the categories. Let's take off that category and let's update. And now it's, you see, it's spinning, updating. And now I don't have that category anymore. Just WordPress website. Great. And now, you know, I'm just going to. I'm going to put that Elementor tips back on and now I'm going to show you the content, the content. <clears throat> I want to make a quick change. Whenever you start a website uh, here, when it comes to, okay, so you, you need to, first thing you need to ask might be, first thing you need to ask might be, I'm going to change that to. The first thing you need to ask is update. And now it's updating and it's going to update the content. Great. So how do you do this? Now, first of all, I want to point out, okay, so you see it's updated. First thing I want to point out is if I come here and in an incognito window, And I come into this page as an incognito. I cannot see the edit button. Only when I'm logged in as an administrator or as Shoptai, the author. Right? So I'm going to show you how to do this. Go into the, okay, so this, this uh, post and like all posts on my website are generated, is generated by the single post template. The, the the content itself is created through is created through um, the default WordPress editor, which is now Gutenberg. So go into single post, single post template. So when you when you create this when you put the form on the single post template, this form will appear on all of your posts. So you don't have to put it for each post. Every post will have this edit button. So first, I'm just going to delete this so that I can show you from scratch. All right? So you can put this edit button wherever you Well, first you put the form and then it will give you a button. So put, put the edit button wherever you want. Uh, I'm just going to put it on the top here, but you can also put it on the bottom below the post content, even below the comments widget. See? And now you have here the settings. So go to fields. First of all, you can have a, a you can have, sorry, you can have a title for the form and you can just leave that blank if you want, but it's nice to have a, say edit post. Now you can you can uh, hide the title field. So it's not to show the title field. And you can also show the content field. So now apologize for this. The content field doesn't look so hot in the editor. But I assure you that 
and on the front end it looks great. We're working on this issue, but it's just uh, something with the with the Elementor editor. The content field doesn't look so hot. Well, whatever. Well, well we're working on, on it to fix it. Now, the form fields. What fields are you going to have? Now you can put any field you want, any ACF field you can put here, but it defaults to current posts uh, field groups. So the only field group I have here is one called is called um, posts blog posts, and it has one field which is categories. I don't have any other data I need, I need that I need to that's not in the post content. But you can obviously you can add in any fields you want. Now this is WP. Oh, so, this, so this is the text of the of the of the button. You can change that to you can change it to update post. Let's say WP load uploader means when you have an image, do you use the WP the the WordPress media library or do you just have an input field? So uh, we're just gonna. We're going to put it onto a WP uploader. That really should be defaulted to yes. And now, okay, I'll skip display for a second. Let's go to permissions. Permissions, only logged in users. Now, if I put this to logged out, uh, only logged out users, that's maybe good for when you're creating a post. You know, so you, you only want logged out users to, or to send you a form, to send you a, a, a contact form. Let's say all users is anyone. Now, if you choose only logged out users, it will it will give you anyone who's logged out. So it's not all those other options are relevant. Or if also all users. But if you choose only logged in users, it will say what what logged in users. So you can say only administrators. Now you also have select by user. So even if Shoptai is not a administrator, he'll be able to see it. And also, you can say the author. And even if the author is not an administrator, let's say I can also say editor. Even if the, if the even if the author is not a a administrator or an editor or a shop type, he'll be able to see it. Now, author is it's a dynamic, so it will choose anyone who's this post, the current post's author. You can also use a ACF field name. Let's say you have a field name called uh, my author, right? So it will choose that field's data. It will take the data from that field and use that user. But we'll just put this back to to the author. Yeah. Form actions. Edit post. We're going to leave it because we want this button to this. We want this form to edit the post. We want it to edit the current post. You can also select the post, but we're just going to leave it the current, current post. Redirect after submit. I don't want it to redirect anywhere else. I want it to reload current page or post. Now this form post URL. This is basically the same thing in this in, in our case because we're editing the post. But if it was, if we're talking about an, a, a form to create a new post to publish a post. So that's what this is good for, because you don't have anywhere to, to re, you don't want to reload the current page. You want to, you want, you might want it to go to that new post. So that's what it will do. It will send you to a new post. If you put this here, it'll also do the same thing. It will, it will, it will send it to our current post. So we'll just leave it, leave it the way it is. And now the update message. And now you might want to put a delete option. So this delete button, it will. They will ask you, are you sure you want to delete? And then you say, okay. And you see, you could also set that data. Okay, so that's basically it now. Okay, wait, so last thing. Let's go back, uh, skip this display. So show and modal. And you can choose what the button text will be. Now, what I always do, I always do the same thing. I'll take this button. Now, this, this is a button now, and I'll just open up a modal window, which is great. Doesn't take up any space. So now this more button, this whole widget, I'll put in 
I'll go into the advanced settings and I'll go into custom positioning and I'll choose um, fixed. So now it's fixed. And I'll first, first of all, width, choose in inline auto. That way it will give it the, uh, you know, it will give it the width of the, of the button. And now I'll choose right. I always like to put on the right hand corner. And let's give it a little bit of an offset. Like a hundred, uh, let's just give it a, f a percentage. Let's put it right there. I always like to put it the same place. All my, all the websites I create, I like to put it right there. That way it's visible and the clients know how to edit. You can see it says edit. Great. So I just update and Let's go into posts. Essential tools view. There we go. Now I have my edit button and I can edit my posts. 